would say my work is a contemporary palimpsest of painting and a combination of the texture of memory. Since I was very little, I was roaming around and exploring cities. Everywhere I went, I paid attention to walls. I was looking and searching for walls that had signs, names, signatures, textures, colors. I was always interested in what was being written on the walls, who was writing on walls, what was the language of today's hieroglyphics. I saw the walls as part of who we are as people and where we make our marks and I saw it as a sort of way to understand humanity through this psychogeographical map of traces that not only belong to the past but that continue into the present. A painting this size, 90 feet by 14 feet, is uh, going to be installed at the entrance of the World Trade Center and uh, it's, it's a huge responsibility. I've been in New York 20 years and I was here during the time of the September 11th attacks and it's something that you bear in mind while painting something that big for such an important location. The whole time I'm painting this piece, I keep thinking about unity and what it means and people coming together and, and what brings us apart. It's not that there's a specific message. What I'm trying to, to do is find a unison between colors, between textures and a flow. There's language brought into the piece and the language is dealing with gesture and line and there's this dance that is a performative aspect of my work that is being brought into this large painting. I'm submerged and immersed into this massive piece and I'm jumping around and it's, and it's become like an acrobatic uh, way to paint because I'm jumping off ladders, I'm climbing very fast, I'm able to use the, the extensions of my full body and my arms and, and so I'm giving everything to this painting. In Medias Res is a, a, a film technique to start the story in the middle rather than at the beginning. It also is this concept of presenting an exhibition with different points of the story of my painting presented very randomly from the center and then forward and backwards and meeting in the middle as if a book has been opened and closed. Each painting tells you a concept. Each one tells a story, each one is a concept and there's a lot of experiments in between. This painting is titled Commodore Park. Commodore Park is uh, based in downtown Brooklyn near the Navy Yard. For years I've been documenting a lot of the walls around that area. It's always been a really lively place in the neighborhood and um, I started a painting about it a few years ago because I found a wall that was slowly being whitewashed more and more every day and uh, the, the texture and soul of it was disappearing. But I collected a lot of the posters and I took a lot of photographs and um, the painting became something that is uh, a document, a time capsule of that park because it's more than a photograph. You know, the, the, the wall is now white, it's clean and, uh, and it's sterile. The idea of a lot of my paintings inspired by walls and locations is based on photography, but much more than that, it's based on the idea that you might have been able to go up to the wall and cut a part of the wall out, a fragment and excavate it and, and in a sense it's, it's creating um, an archaeological uh, par part of the wall but creating it backwards because I start from a white canvas and then go back into the history, the imagined history and the memories that I've had in a place like that. These three pieces are a triptych and they represent three major points of my life in painting and important places that changed my life. The title of this one is Eureka to Flagler. Eureka was the South Miami neighborhood where I grew up and first got introduced to art, to Flagler, which is the middle of Miami. I continued there to the point where I moved to New York. This one is White Plains Road to Ashland. When I first moved to New York, I moved to the Bronx and I was very influenced by what was going on in the Bronx. There was all this vibrant scene that was going on. I found a studio downtown Brooklyn and that allowed me to finally have my, uh, my central. I traveled to Europe for the first time, I went to Japan, I started to exhibit internationally. I have all these accumulated histories. And then from Ashland, it takes me to the next place, which is St. Felix to Baltics, which is where I am now, representative of this new beginning, this new studio. And so it deals a lot with in medias res, because it's like the beginning, the middle, and the now. 
So remembering and then figuring out where, where the median was and where you're going. And then there's the future.